crime tape came down today. After finding skeletal remains, five people here, investigators say the search is over. It was early last fall when Herbert Baumeister's kids found a human skull on the property. Baumeister is said to have taken it away and explained that it was somehow related to his father's work as a physician. The skull has not been seen since. About the same time, an informant told Indianapolis police that her Baumeister was the last one seen with a missing person they were looking for. But Baumeister refused to talk to the cops. By then, his personal and professional life was crumbling. His wife filed for divorce. He was falling deeper and deeper in debt, trying to maintain this Hamilton County estate, along with this place, a home he'd moved out of some three years ago in Castleton. It seems Baumeister had less than a cordial relationship with some of his neighbors here. They say he flatly refused to sell his house or even repair his house, all the time insisting that he lived here, even though the home is obviously vacant. Neighbors are curious about why Baumeister kept the house and what he has inside. And while warring with some of his neighbors, Baumeister's business was falling apart. Employees say Baumeister owes thousands of dollars in back pay and for bounce checks and other debts. They didn't get their money and the electricity didn't get paid and all that stuff, so they shut the power off. He and his wife operated two Save-A-Lot thrift stores in Indianapolis. They had a contract with the Children's Bureau and had agreed that a percentage of the proceeds, about $4,000 a month, would go to the Bureau. But then the money stopped, and all the Children's Bureau got was complaints about Baumeister. Some workers say his behavior was unusual. All he would hire would teenage students or... Boys, mainly? Boys. That's it. A couple times he said, well, i got to take him home. He'll leave, and he doesn't come back till noon next day. The Children's Bureau ended the contract with Baumeister two weeks ago. About the same time, human bones surfaced again at his estate. The biggest news from Fox Auto Farm on this Wednesday came early. Positively, five uh, bodies out there. Uh, by the bones he found yesterday, uh, I believe he found about 75 bones. And, and through that, they was able to identify the two other bodies definitely were out there, so we all do have five. Authorities still believe the bones have been buried in the 18-acre estate for the last nine to 18 months. Anthropologists say the bones are definitely that of adults. Now, that was likely help law enforcement, but it's not enough. We have nothing at this time, and, and will not uh, until the anthropologists can, can give us some kind of sex and hopefully a cause of death. Digging at the site concluded today. A search party walked through the property is scheduled for Friday. It, it's real frustrating. I mean, you know, we have to wait. Uh, everybody's curious. We have our own thought, to, but we have to wait until we get a, an answer from the anthropologist. That's expected to take 30 to 40 days.